Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of boxing. And that is the WBC has expelled Ryan Garcia. Suleiman and the, the other members of the WBC uh, council uh, has expelled him. And basically put out a statement saying he needs to help. And, you know, they can't stand for that. Now, I really want to start because... You know, he was trending yesterday, obviously, for saying the N-word. And this Ryan thing is just bigger than what... It's bigger than boxing, honestly. What Ryan shows is how broken we are as black people and also how we don't stick together. Kyrie Irving can tweet about a movie and pretty much be canceled. Kanye can can go on a, on, on a rant and be canceled, right? Which, hey, you know, I can't be mad at the person, at, the, at, at them for sticking up for what they believe in, right? But when somebody says something in our direction, not only do we try to see the bright side of things, but you have, how should I say this without uh, get? You have basically people out there who tap dancing and will immediately go to somebody's defense like a Ryan Garcia. You see it every single time. And it's just, it's sad. This just shows how broken we are, honestly, as black people. Nobody should be able to come to our culture, make fun of our culture. Now, you can argue we shouldn't be saying it with each other. Fine, we program, we know where the word originally comes from. I mean, come on now. You know what I'm saying? But it's just funny how other people can, they can come to our neighborhoods, right? They can come to our neighborhoods and set up shop. But if you try to go over there, you'll get ran out. When Devin Haney said what he said to Lomachenko, they literally made him come out and apologize as a community. You didn't see people defending Devin Haney like that. Ryan Garcia tested positive for PEDs. What did he do? He imme immediately tap dancers started coming out, you know. And, you know, the do 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 Oh, no, nah, man, it's a conspiracy. No, nah, man, Ryan, man, he's a, uh, 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 they set him up, man. No, nah, he's innocent. All because you hate Devin and Bill Haney. That's what I'm saying. All of this stuff is deeper, you know, and I, and even all these forums I be in, I be asking, what y'all, what do y'all not like about Devin Haney, him and Bill Haney? Oh, well, Bill Haney talked too much. Oh, okay, well, how come when Tom, when Tom Brady be talking, he's competitive? You know, y'all love Custom Auto. Custom Auto was speaking stuff into existence when he was with Mike Tyson, but if Bill Haney tried to do that for his son, which you could see and take that into your own life and say, you know what? I see how he's speaking life into his son, how he's manifesting things for his son. You hate it and you want him to lose so bad that if somebody tests positive for performing enhancements, you don't want to believe it. And then, you know, he are, Ryan already showed uh, had a what was that or a monkey or ape or whatever in the video. He already been pushing the limits, but now when he go on his tirade, now some people are, are, are want to say, man, I know him, man. He's not perfect, man. And what he said was messed up, but, you know, uh, I'm going to support him. Well, how come they don't support us when we do something? Have you ever noticed that? We're always the ones that's forgiving. And it was some dude, I don't, I don't even know who the dude was, but he opened up talking to Ryan saying, ninja, ninja, them ain't your ninjas. Which he shouldn't have did that, but guess what? Ryan in the car with all these primates and all you, all you hear, man, no, ninja, oh, oh. like it's just, it's, it's embarrassing, man. Just, just admit that y'all want to see Ryan crash. Honestly, y'all want to see a train wreck. See, I'm a boxing fan. You know what I mean? I actually care about fighters. Y'all just want to see people self destruct. Y'all like that? Um, what's that girl by Darby telling me about Christian Rock and all these other people who are just all you see all, all you see them all day is doing wild stuff Ryan's own father even came out and said that Ryan needs to get help and y'all still riding with the BS you think he's a genius and this is all some uh, genius plan by Ryan when reality the man is crying out for help and people around him don't want to really speak up and give his mind because they don't want to be cut off from the money. And I mean, you see this all the time with celebrities, honestly. You you will literally see them crashing out and you will see their homeboys just still supporting them. But 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 just real quick back with the WBC, y'all expelled him for how long? If he comes out and, and issues out a true apology, are y'all going to reinstate him? Because no, he and he needs to be banned from not just that organization, but all of them, right? Y'all care about equality and all of that. So, you know, you can, you can shut other people who who are athletes and entertainers down when when one of us do something so the the wba the wbc the ibf should say ryan will no longer we he won't be in any ranking just like the w the wbc but i just want to give my quick thoughts about it again it's sad you know but this just shows honestly how broken we are as black people we can't stick together and when somebody do wrong you always immediately you see one of us coming out and and trying to defend it and man let's just forgive and all of that but like i said let you try something but yeah tell me what y'all think